any project easily. It's the bit that spawns the most enthusiasm out of my brain um, is creating the ideas. Now, executing ideas, the last couple of weeks before a show is always fun because we've got a finished product, hopefully there. Um, but at this point, this is where we experiment and try and upgrade, right? The fact that we're even trying something like this is a real big risk, um, but without risk, there is no reward, right? So the approach that I want to take with a lot of these dances um, is not to just basically do anything that we've ever done before, ever. So it's always pushing the envelope forward. Hello, my name is Bradley Muggleton. I'm a dancer and choreographer, and this is my story. So I started dancing when I was seven years old and kind of went down to just like the traditional path of going to classes, uh, street dance classes, break dance classes, that's what they were labeled as then. And uh, I have a very clear memory of one of my first ever classes when I was getting taught how to do a baby freeze and feeling like it's the most impossible move in the world, right? I was turning around, my parents were laughing, I was laughing, it was kind of like funny. I, I have a very clear memory of that and I think I was seven, maybe eight, but like super young. And that seemed like the most impossible thing ever, but I was having so much fun doing it. And I think that that kind of narrative can be a good way to describe my personality and my story from start to now, um, where, where I'm at right now, which is just like perseverance. Um, I always worked very hard, at, but really like I enjoyed working hard. So for the ages of like seven through to like 15, I think I danced almost every day, and it was, if not every day, to be fair. And uh, and it was just like the funnest thing ever. Um, for me at the time, breaking was my biggest love. Uh, B-boying, battling, one-on-ones, team-on-team, two-on-twos, I, I did everything. Went to jump off. We we toured for a while, going to different breakdown stops and just battling and stuff like that, meeting some of my friends. And, and uh, I have very fond memories of that time. So I think my dance career can be split into a couple of different paths. I think one of them is that like my just undying love for breaking was was very clear. Um, and the other one would be Michael Jackson, which for me was the biggest influencer uh, for like dance performance, entertainment, um, all of those things for sure. I used to have Thriller on VHS behind the scenes version and I used to just watch it over and over and over and obviously this was a little bit before YouTube so we had to go and buy DVDs. I remember, it's a fun memory actually, I remember um, the bad tour from Wembley, um, 1988 I think, that's a guess but I think that, that might be right and um, I faked being ill at school because I knew it was getting delivered that day like the, on the DVD and uh, I remember getting picked up and going home at lunchtime and, and like watching it for like 10 hours. It was crazy. Um, yeah, I was like super obsessed. Just like the performance element, the dancers, um, obviously the way that he kind of presented himself on stage as well was was like mesmerizing for me. So I think my dance career, especially the, the, the first part of it, can be split into two parts. It was like the aggressive, raw hip hop nature with classes, battling, performances, that sort of element, com competitions and then the showmanship side of like the Michael Jackson sort of influence. So yeah, I guess that's like the first part, right? Seven to like 15. Um, when I was 15, I got asked to start teaching. Uh, and I, as a junior teacher, I would basically take very, very young beginners and um, yeah, teach them. I loved it. It was like, I fell in love with it pretty much instantly. The idea of me teaching choreography and creating things that I wasn't necessarily doing, but they were doing was fascinating so I think at that point my it was a slow turn from me being the main performer or things that I wanted to do to like moving it over to me choreographing for others and, and wanting to see them succeed I think that took maybe four or five years so between the age of like 15 and 
I guess 20, I think was the full arc of that journey. But yeah, so I started teaching full time as a 15 year old, I guess. That was my only income. Um, and it's been my only income ever since. So yeah, it's kind of it's kind of cool to think of it that way. But when I was 19, I left my um, original adult school where I trained and kind of tried to take on the world. I, I was teaching at four or five different schools. Um, I had a lot of success. We won the world championships, British championships, and yeah, like I couldn't possibly have, uh, have wrote the story any better. That sort of teaching um, arc for me, and I, I love it, and I still love it now. And I think that um, in terms of what I was trying to achieve, if I had spoke to 19-year-old me and and told him this is what you would have done within the next like seven, eight years, um, I think he'd be very proud of me, and I, and I'm very happy about that. Like it makes me feel very fulfilled so yeah I think that's the best way for me to describe the first two parts of my dance career was the raw young childhood sort of like wants to take on the world sort of dancer and then slowly becoming into a teacher and trying to elevate my choreography and and trying to teach um, as many people as I can I couldn't even work out how many classes I've done now but I've taught six days a week for the last four years and probably between four and five days a week since before that for like four years so a, a long time a lot of classes a lot of classes so yeah so now i'm 26 and i think now is like the perfect time you know to to kind of like start exploring my own vision um like i said i've really fulfilled my ambition working with, or I should say working for other people. Um, but at this point I'm really, I'm really focused on trying to deliver my message and to try and build dancers up the way that I want to do it, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm very, very excited to announce Brand New Dance is opening in 2020. And I'm so excited. Like it, I'm hard to put this part into words, like to articulate this part is, it's pretty hard. I've been waiting a very, very long time to to kind of to kind of to kind of do this. Um, I had a folder on my laptop in March 2013 with Brand New Creative was what I had in there. And I had Brand New Creative, Brand New Vision, Prestige Ascension, and there was one other. Um, I can't think of the other one in terms of names of of dance schools that I was going to make. And it's taken me um, eight years, nearly like seven, seven seven and a bit years to actually do it. Um, but now's the time. So, you know, people have been telling me to open my own dance school since I was 16 and I've always said no. Um, I couldn't really find a reason why I said no, but now I, I, I don't have a reason to say no. Like I'm so focused and proud of the fact that I'm saying yes, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm pumped. Um, the slogan and the ethos for the dance school is, is for the dancers and I think that that, um, that says it all really. It's, it's built from the ground up for them, the way that I will um, construct private lessons and programs around that, construct classes, teams, training, um, bringing in teachers, bringing in the right teachers to, to, serve, to serve a purpose that the dancers need. and for me to train them in a way that I feel that they will benefit the most from. Uh, all of those things are kind of very nuanced and very thought out. Nothing's like, everything's planned is what I think I'm trying to say, you know? So I think that's me, that's me as a person. And I think at this point, I kind of have a lot of self-awareness for who I am, what I'm kind of about. And this brand is gonna hopefully represent that. So, you know, I've done lots of things, but I think this is what I'm gonna be the most proud of. Um, for sure and it's not for me it's not everything about this makes me excited for them if that makes sense like they're gonna love it they're gonna love everything about it I hope anyway so that's what I'm trying to give I'm trying to give the idea that dance is fun dance hard work is fun it's not something to be scared of and to interact with different people interact with teachers interact with each other helping each other helping yourself, 
um, self-belief, self-confidence. I kind of talk a lot about all of these things daily, but they really, they really do mean a lot to me because for some reason, I really resonate with the idea of trying to help people build self-esteem. And this is what this dance company is going to be centered around. Um, confidence builder from the ground up and one that will hopefully allow them to progress deep into dance and and beyond so that's it um, that's my story start to finish I guess I'm so excited I, I really have nothing else to say um, this is gonna be the best chapter of my life I'm so excited for it and I'm so excited for other people to hopefully try and enjoy it, enjoy the journey with me. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video.